Hello and welcome to my video on half pedaling in jazz piano. I've got the time codes in the description below so you can use them to skip straight to the interesting stuff if you like. Uh, but I'm also going to begin with uh, an introduction on half pedaling to just to explain what it is for anyone who would like to know. And I'd also like to give my website a mention. It's it, I'm, it's growing at the moment, I'm putting some stuff on it and you can buy some transcriptions and piano arrangements and it just helps support me if you like my videos because I'm not on Patreon or I'm not sponsored by NordVPN or Skillshare or whatever it is that, that is going at the moment. So let's get started. What is half pedaling? Well the clue is in the name, it's sustained pedal, the right pedal but half, um, some halfway points, so you're not using it so much. So if I take a chord like this, and I've got the sustain pedal the whole way down, you hear it all in full until it decays naturally. Uh, but say you want that chord, but you want it to decay a little quicker, you want it to just to carry on lingering, but to be at a lower level. That's what it does, so full pedal and then half pedal. You see that half pedal point, it sticks around but it's just at a lower level and that's it. So grand pianos, uh, they, as far as I know they are the best instruments for doing half pedaling. It's a little more difficult on upright. I think it is it is possible I've from my experience but yeah on grand pianos but also on a good electric piano like I've got. This is a Nord piano five and uh, this was one of the reasons I got it is because it does uh, half pedaling. Um, not if you, if you don't have half pedaling on your electronic piano, that, that's not the end of the world at all. But um, so, but if you do have half pedaling, then great. Then this will be interesting for you because you can use that in this. Here we go. So we're going to start with the gentleman on the left, the one and only Dave Brubeck. So here he's playing in your own sweet way, uh, piano solo, and he's playing these chords, which uh, remind me of what you get in a big band, where you've got a swung rhythm, you've got a long short kind of thing. So on the short bit of the rhythm, you get the chord, which has a just there, and the long bit of the swing. Uh, it kind of it decays so like that you know um, let's hear it you'll better understand it there so it, it, it kind of accentuates the swung rhythm there this is why understand the passage to be. Something like that I think. Uh, uh, just a quick side note. It's actually a tenth he's playing there, but replace it with a fifth. No one will notice <laughs> um, if you've got short hands like me. And um, so yeah. And I think it's, how, how does he do it? So. I think it's syncopated pedaling. If you don't know what that is, look that up because that's important. Syncopated pedaling, but obviously not going the full way down, going to the, some halfway point. Whatever the halfway point is, is down to your taste and the acoustics of the room. And then the chords, which are kind of held for the duration of the short beat, the short bit of the beat, the song with them. But, but, that, that short bit, that. Something like that. Um, that's what I believe it to be. That's what I believe the technique is going on there. Um, yeah, and that's it. Here we're looking at McCoy Tyner playing My Favourite Things. This is solo, not with John Coltrane. So this is he's a little bit more uh, unrestrained in this, but it's great. And one of the things I really like about this performance is the way that the dynamics it really 
comes in and comes out in a really smooth way um, in, and in varying you know, speeds. So sometimes it's a big you know, crescendo and a very quick crescendo and, and things like that, but it's, it's done smoothly, it's, done, it's handled with a lot of control. Um, and I think the way, one of the ways that he achieves that is with half pedaling because half pedal, as you know, when you put down the pedal and all these sounds accumulate, the volume builds. So you can really, the pedal, the, the sustain pedal is like a volume control pedal. It's like a volume pedal. And if you can half pedal, uh, if you control that half pedaling, you, you have control of the volume. So let's hear this. Uh, hopefully you'll get an idea of what I mean. So yeah, I feel that the half pedaling is, this is what I believe is the half pedaling is an important part of the playing in this. If you take a, one of those left hand parts, it allows him to you can play those that fifth quite loud, but then you can leave it to lingering around like that. And it just sort of, because you've got these two separate parts, you've got this bit down here these chords up here if you don't have the half pedaling there's a bit more of a uh, hard border between those two parts you know hear the difference that's you know just using pedaling without any half pedaling you really feel that it's a little bit jarring that jump but with the half pedaling see that real control uh, over your playing and uh, I think it, it really helps with the whole sound that he's uh, creating there and that's it from me on this uh, so yeah this just scratches the surface uh, there's this is part one I'm hoping to do many more and I also just want to bring it to people's attention and if other people want to come in and contribute something then that's great because I quite like to get the discussion started on this because it's something that's not I don't see talked about too often so that would be good um, just the, just the surface here hope you like this subscribe and uh, yeah check out my website all right bye